let's talk about blocks. Um, let's talk specifically cover blocks. Uh, the first one is our helmet guard. The helmet guard suggests when you know I kind of put my hands on my forehead, shoulders up, chins top down, and I just kind of like dig in as she as she strikes my abs off the push. So let's say do a jab cross. Can you jab cross? So that's the helmet guard. The thing with the helmet guard, the, the first common mistake doing the helmet guard is I don't want to block this way, where my hands are far away from my face. Because what happens as my partner does that is the, go ahead, I end up sort of hitting myself. Uh, also with the helmet guard, the positions of my hands are very, very important. If I have the habit of punching and exposing myself when I punch, when my partner fires back, it's going to take a long time for me to be able to uh, protect myself, so I, I, I run the risk of getting hit. Helmet guard is good if I have one hand always up, so I do a jab cross and hurt, fires by jab cross. Right? It's, my hands are already close to my face, it's a lot easier for me to protect myself. So once again, with the helmet guard, please don't have your hand away from your face where you're hitting yourself. Secondly, make sure you don't form the habit of dropping your hands every time you hit because as long as you always have one hand protecting your face it's a lot easier to protect yourself lastly with the helmet guard another common mistake is keeping my hand so far up where i'm protecting my face but the rest of my body is exposed right so i need to find that happy medium so my helmet guard this way right protect my face not blocking my view i want to still be able to to see, but making sure that my gloves are close enough where my partner's fist cannot go through. The other kind of cover block we're going to talk about is my um, cover block for my hooks. So for my partner's hooks, so when she does the hook, right, this is my cover block. So what I'm doing is I'm grabbing the back of my head, right, at the back of my head, making sure that my elbow and my forearm is flushed against my chin. One common mistake with the uh, hook cover block is that if I block this way, it seems like I'm blocking, but as you can see when the partner throws the hook, right, it, it runs the risk of slipping through and hitting me in the face. So if I do this, right, right I can still get hit in the face. Uh, another common mistake with the cover block is it's, it's not the karate block. So sometimes at the beginner level, we run the mistake of doing this to just the hook, and I try to block this one. Right? See? Again, I still get hit. So one more time, my cover block is grab the back of my head, making sure that my forearm and my bicep is flushed against my chin. My elbows, if I can, pointing down, so not this way, pointing down. And most importantly, this other hand is also protecting my face. One common, uh, one application we like to teach with the, using the cover blocks is always to fire back with a hook. So if my partner does a jab cross hook on me, I'll show you a jab cross hook, I hit back with a hook. So it's very important that this hand is in a position to protect me to hit right back. So again, for my helmet guard, protect it this way. For my uh, cover guard, protect it this way, right, to make sure that I'm not getting I forgot.